the animated container. Let's start this one by adding a boolean selected set as false. The gesture detector will have the untap and the child center. The untap will set state and reverse the value of the selected. Again, the selected is the boolean that we have set at the beginning. In the center, we will have a child animated container. For the width, if the selected is true, it will be 200. Otherwise, it will be 100. The height will have the same logic. If it's selected, then it will be 100. Otherwise, it will be 200. The color of the animated container will be blue-gray if the selected is true. Otherwise, the color will be white. Now for the alignment, we will say if the selected is true, then the alignment will be center. Otherwise, the alignment will be top center. The duration of this animated container will be two seconds. We can also have a curve, which will be fast out, slow in. The child of the animated container will be a Flutter logo with the size 75. And you can see that when I press on the gesture detector, all the characteristics of the animated container will be animated. The width, the height, the color, and the alignment of the child. This widget is very simple to implement.